Hello Green Shoppers, welcome once again to my channel This is Sir Job and welcome to Sir Job TV Para sa lahat po ng mga new explorers Check on yung na-discovered po sa akin channel Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell For you to be updated with my future videos So para sa araw na ito, let us continue to discuss the world of values education Specifically, our topic for this morning is all about man the focus or center of values education welcome to my video number 206 Good morning once again, Golden Chubbers. Andito na naman po tayo sa panibagong episode in line with the subject of values education. Na kung saan sa araw na ito, we will focus on understanding, okay, the value of the existence of the human person. Why is it that in the discussion of values education, naka-center po or naka-focus po, halos lahat ng attention talking about this particular discipline. So that's what we need to understand in this particular video. So nakikita niyo naman po ngayon sa inyong screen ang atin pong title ay um, nagsasaad po that man the focus, okay, or the center of values education. So basically that's what we need to dig deeper at this particular video. So accordingly, any framework on values education has to center on the human person. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na talking about the discipline of values education, nakatuon talaga yung kaniyang attention doon sa existence, okay? Or almost all the aspects of human person. Yan po ang pinaka-focus talking about values education at the end of the day. As accepted by many, any undertaking on development must center okay on the human person so any undertaking on development lahat ng mga pagbabagong nagaganap the evolution the changes okay everything na nangyayari sa buong mundo laging ang tinitingnan natin the measurement of everything is the existence of the human person okay why because if we are going to recall the existence of the human person in this world remember we are considered as the highest form of creation okay and in line with that kind of claim tayo rin po ang may responsibility okay sa lahat ng mga create ng Panginoon okay na tayo ang responsabling mga laga. We are accountable, okay, to preserve and protect everything that we can see, okay, here in this particular world. And I hope that we are living by that particular claim that supposedly should be done by a person, okay? Pero iba po, taliwas po ang mga nangyayari sa ating present generation right now, hoping that we could gradually also correct, okay, if ever man na nakalimutan natin ang ating role in this world as a person. Because remember, as claimed, we are the highest form of creation. And by that, we also have highest responsibility to fulfill while we are also living in this world. So that's how we have to understand this particular discussion, okay, this particular episode in the discussion of values education, talking about the existence of the human person as to connection in the everything, okay, around him. Let's continue the discussion. As to claim... Man who is not a simple organism, highlight that na, who is not a simple organism, for he is a composite of body, mind, and spirit. So this is how, if we are going to define a person, hindi lang po siya simpleng organism or living organism. Because ang tao po is composed of body, mind, and spirit. So we have this, okay, as we go along with our um, realization or interpretation or internalization within ourselves, we could be able to see and feel all of these particular elements, okay? He has his needs in all these levels of his existence. So meaning to say, um, as I said to you, in every stage of our human existence, meron tayong special needs. Man has special needs, okay? 
to survive. In order for that particular um, person to continue living, then therefore, he need to suffice the basic needs at that level of his life. Basically. So, ganun po. Okay? Nakalagay talaga dito, he has his needs in all these levels of his existence. So, basically, um, kung napanood nyo na ang aking previous discussion, sinabi ko doon sa inyo na if you are a child, meron kang specific na need. If you are a teenager already, meron ka rin specific needs na dapat mong ma-enjoy at dapat mong ma-fulfill. Because as I said to you, you cannot get back on that level of your life. Okay? So, dapat po, we have to let the person talaga to enjoy that kind of level sa kanyang buhay. So, I hope that we have to realize that one or else, hindi niya mararanasan. Wala siyang memory na kung saan dumaan siya sa ganong stage ng buhay. So, hoping that everybody um, is enlightened now that we have to give um, or we have to allow the person to really execute and enjoy that kind of level sa kanyang buhay. Kasi kailangan po, okay? Kailangan niya pong ma-experience. He has needs and appetites that are physical, okay? Psychological or intellectual and spiritual, okay? Na-mention na natin ito kanina, specify lang po dito sa area na to ng video, okay? That are physical. Um, I would like to highlight, kasi ang tao po, physically we are conscious, especially the women in the society, we are much... Um, conscious in terms of our appearance, the physical thing, okay? But I would like to um, justify that one as sana yung pagiging conscious natin physically would be on the part of the healthy procedure sa ating katawan, okay? Because some of you or some of us would usually have to take care of ourselves yung presentable in a way lang, okay? Sa panlabas na kaanyuan, you are so much beautiful, pero inside your body you are not actually um, preserved serving the healthy diet for instance and everything else about protecting your health something like that okay so hopefully that as we um suffice our needs physically we also have to be healthy conscious okay or health conscious dapat ang isang individual because that's one of the needs na kailangan nating masuffice in order for us to continue living secondly yung tinatawag nating psychological or intellectual because if we are going to analyze the existence of one person meron kasi tayong emotion okay that is the reason why um there's point in our lives na nasasaktan tayo with the kind of situation that we encountered, okay? May mga feeling na kung saan na down tayo, na disappoint tayo for some rejections, okay? It's normal kasi that's part of the existence talaga ng human person, okay? We also have that concept of mga psychological trauma depending on the kind of experience we had in the past that, that we cannot move on, okay? Um, ilang taon na ang nakalipas but still we cannot forget the situation na nangyari 5 years ago for example something like that okay mahirap po but that's part of life that's part of the existence of a human person okay and of course um spiritual aspects na kung saan um we have to lean on the words of god basically ito yung pwede kong magamit na example talaga talking about the spiritual that is the reason why ang tao hindi talaga kompleto ang buhay niya sa mundo kung wala siyang church or religion na kinabibilangan because at the end of the day at least no whatever religion you are living right now at least you have the chance to expose, okay, with the words of God. And at the end of the day, yan po ang pinaka-importante. Okay, our exposure, our constant exposure with the words of God. At least we could be able to recall, okay, things that we should know. Especially when we um starting to forget those particular um stuffs in our lives. And that's very important, okay? Among all of these things, kailangan ma-develop talaga ang moral aspect ng isang tao. The ethical, the values, the behavior, the personality should be refined talaga. And this is very important. Okay, so frustration at any one of these levels can produce agony in the whole organism. So meaning to say the goal of the human
common person is to maintain balance. To keep balance talaga. Sa mga aspetong aking nabanggit kanina, dapat na-develop yon, Dapat na-suffice yon, Physical, the psychological and intellectual, and of course, the moral aspect should be developed. Okay? Sa isang tao talaga. Kasi nakasaad talaga dito, frustration at any one of these levels, kung may hindi na-satisfy sa mga aspetong aking nabanggit, can produce agony in the whole system, affected po ang whole existence ng isang tao. Okay? Kaya nga, um, na-observe nyo ito sa inyong mga sarili. If you have small problem, okay, or may aspeto sa buhay mo na medyo nagka-problema, you are affected. Lahat ng sistema ng katawan mo, yung emotion mo, yung psychological thinking mo, yung intellectual analysis mo on things, affected po yan lahat. Okay? Kaya nga nakasaad dito, isang bagay lamang ang hindi mo masofay sa sarili mo, everything will be affected. That is um, why I am telling to everybody right now, we should have to find ways na naging balance talaga ang lahat ng ito. Or else, um, our body will suffer. Our existence will suffer at the end of the day. Man, therefore, has to be respected. Highlight that in ha. Man, therefore, has to be respected. Okay? Why? Why? Bakit kailangan natin respetuhin ang tao as being who can think as a person? Kasi nakasaad kanina yung cognitive aspect na isang tao. A being who can think as a person. A being who can feel as a person. And a being who can act as a person. So, isa-isahin natin ito para mas maintindihan. Going back to the line, highlight natin yung statement na man therefore has to be respected. Because, you know, if you are going to analyze the situation, yung salitang respect po is napaka-expensive po dito sa mundo. Okay? Because sometimes, we have no um, thinking of respecting other people because wala naman siyang napatunayan sa kanyang sarili, for example. Ganun po ang definition natin sa respect. But, Accordingly, talking about the values education, the proper way of dealing the other people, lahat po ng tao ay dapat nating irrespeto. Man, therefore, has to be respected. Okay, kahit ano man po ang posisyon niya sa buhay, okay, kahit ano man po ang status niya sa mundong ito, ano man po ang physical appearance ng tao na yan, saan man siyang lugar ng galing, that person should be respected. Kahit ano man ang identity at ang gender ng taong yan, man has to be respected. Correct? Kasi yun po ang mga justification. Being who can think as a person. Being who can feel as a person. And being who can act as a person. Okay? May isip ang isang tao. May emotion ang isang tao. And of course, um, gumagalaw siya. There's a movement, okay, of that particular person. Buhay po ang individual na yan. So you should have to respect. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, we are the highest form of creation. So that is why um, we should be respected. In all walks of life, we should have to respect every individuals in the world and that's very important to be imagined okay so it is these processes of thinking okay kasi pag sinabi kong thinking automatically ang pinafocus natin dito is the cognitive or acquiring knowledge cognitive or acquiring knowledge feeling naman po okay pag sinabi kong feeling ito po yung affective or forming attitudes and Values. Affective part yan ha. Sa feeling natin, affective or forming attitudes and values. And acting, okay, the psychomotor or acquiring skills. Sa mga teachers, this is very common to all of you kasi um, nalalagay natin ito sa ating um, lesson plan. Kailangan talaga ang ating lesson plan is kumpleto po siya sa tatlong domain of learning na ito. Na kung saan dapat holistically ma-develop ang ating mga estudyante. Okay? They should be developed cognitive. Okay? Dapat mahun ang kanilang academic skills, ang kanilang utak, ma-sharpened by that particular um, institution for example, or level or stage ng kanilang pag-aaral. Okay? But secondly, we also need to develop the affective part which is the emotion, the behavior, the character. This is how or this is what the role of values education at the end of the day. Why is it talagang naging part ito sa ating curriculum? Because very important also that 
that as the cognitive develops, okay, madidevelop din yung affected portion ng isang tao or isang estudyante talking about. And of course, aside from that, we also need to develop our acting or the movement or also known as the psychomotor or the skills development of the person. Whatever it is within you should also be developed. So, dapat talaga yung tatlong domain na ito of learning is naging part talaga ng system ng isang tao in order for that person to be considered as holistically developed individual. Okay? Kasi, kasi na-develop po sa kanya itong three domains of learning. Okay? So, dapat we have to take notice one. And even as a human person also, tayo sa ating mismong sarili, we also have to find ways na ma-develop ang tatlong bagay na ito. Kasi ang pangit pong tingnan ng isang tao, matalino, lahat na lang, cum laude, sumacum laude, top nature sa board exam, and everything else, lahat nakakamit niya. Okay? But hindi po na-develop ang kanyang affect domain. So, mahirap po. Mahirap pa kasi mahan. Okay? So, dapat talaga, we should have to develop this particular three domains, okay, of learning in order for us to be considered as holistically developed person. Now, let us proceed with our discussion sa karagtong ng topic na ito na kung saan we will focus on values education involves change. We have to accept the fact that pag sinabi nating values education, nagbabago or pwedeng makapagbago ng isang tao, pwedeng maka-influence ng isang tao. Ang kabutihan mo can radiate goodness to somebody else na kung saan nakasalamuha mo. So, this is what we need to understand in this particular portion of our discussion. Accordingly, values education has to involve change. Yan ang pinaka-target niya po dito. Has to involve change. Pag sinabi nating values education. May mga bagay na katanggap-tanggap noon, pero hindi na natin pwedeng i-apply ngayon. That's one way also of thinking about this particular portion of our discussion. Okay? Change radiates in every moment of man's being. Yan ang sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na because of socialization, because of constant interaction, you can radiate, okay, or you can manifest, okay, the goodness within within you to the rest of the people na kung saan you are being socialized with, okay? This means other person engaging you with a contact that touches the innermost relationship with the person. Meaning, your simple act of kindness creates an endless ripple. Ano ibig sabihin? I cannot forget this line because 2015 when I first heard this line, your simple act of kindness creates an endless ripple. Yung kabutihan mo within you, yung ginagawa mong kabutihan sa sarili mo, sharing it to other people, nakita ng iba, naramdaman ng iba yan, of course, they have to manifest also that kind of good things that you have shown to them. Yan ang pinaka-importante. Kaya makikreate po ang tinatawag nating ripple effects, okay? With the kind of goodness na ipinakita mo sa iyong kapwa-tao. Yan po ang ibig sabihin. Thus, we can manifest our goodness to people. That's not impossible, okay? Kasi pag mabuti ang ipinakita mo sa kanya, of course, the person will also share goodness to the other people. Kasi naramdaman niya ang kabutihan galing sa iyo, then therefore, that person will also share goodness from the other people. Person. So, pag nangyari yan, ripple effects, domino effect, ipapasa, ipapasa from one generation to another, then we could be able to have a better place to live in if that is the case, okay? Pero sa situation natin ngayon, medyo naging shaky ang ating implementation on this kind of um, idea, okay? Kasi medyo nawala, okay? Medyo nag-level up yung mga crimes, yung manipulations, corruptions, and any other mga negative things in this particular generation especially that money is an issue, crisis is really striking in the entire world so difficult po ang ating situation ngayon so so hopefully we could be able to um, go back talaga sa kung ano yung ginagawa natin before sa kung ano yung mga um, practices na ini-implement natin not just only in our respective homes, not only in our community but 
in the entire country so something like that that we have to um, reflect or contemplate if we have time okay accordingly this process starts with one's personal growth when he allows himself to be true to himself and to be genuine to others ano ibig sabihin nito highlight natin sa statement na ito yung idea na nagsasabing when he allows himself to be true to himself and to be genuine to others basically changes will not occur if the person is not even true to himself okay so meaning um acceptance must come first within ourselves just for others to accept us so yan talaga ang pinaka highlight okay um sinulat ko dito in order for me to deliver properly pero i-discuss natin ito para mas maliwanagan kayong lahat so in the interaction you cannot expect of other people to accept your identity to accept your physical appearance to who you are at the end of the day kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo huwag niyong takpan yung identity ninyo. Yung uniqueness ninyo, huwag niyong tanggalin sa sistema ninyo. Kasi unique ka as a person, ikaw yan eh. Okay? If I'm going to mention your name, this is you. Ito ang karakteristik mo, ito ang personality mo. For as long as hindi ka nanapak ng existence ng iba, for as long as you are not manipulating the existence of other people, then it's fine, perfectly fine. Walang problema doon sa ang um, pinakita mo sa mga tao. So basically, the acceptance should start within ourselves. Walang tatanggap sa iyo, okay, kung hindi mo tatanggapin ang sarili mo. So, you have to face right now in the mirror and then you have to say, this is my physical appearance and I have to accept everything about it. Okay? My personality, you have to reflect eto yung ugali ko this is my personality eto yung identity ko as a person then i have to accept everything okay balikan natin yung situation when he allow himself to be true to himself and to be genuine to others then acceptance will be happening in your existence as you are going to continue socializing the world Okay? Kasi wala pong mangyayaring acceptance kung ikaw mismo sa sarili mo ay hindi mo tinanggap ang pagkatao mo. That's basically very important to be imagined. Okay? Matagal ang procedure. There are times na talagang nawawalan tayo ng gana to accept ourselves. Especially those problems na malala talaga. Okay? Kasi may mga napapanood ako mga videos na talagang grabe po ang difficulty nila. When it comes on the physical disabilities na ma-observe natin, um, it's really, really hard for you to accept that kind of situation. But um, the reality okay, of life or our existence is we have to accept everything. Noon, I also have that kind of dilemma within myself. Ang hirap kong tanggapin ang sarili ko. But the moment I discovered, okay, that the best thing to do in this lifetime is to accept ourselves and afterwards, everybody will also accept our existence. Then, sinimulan kong tanggapin ang sarili ko. Okay? And now, um, kahit sinasabi nila may mga negative, akong naririnig or whatever, mga descriptions, hindi na ako affected. Why? Because tinanggap ko ang sarili ko. Remember, no one will appreciate and accept you if you, in the first place, didn't embrace everything about you. So that's basically one thing that you have to remember. Okay, so yan ang pinakapunto natin dito why we are discussing. That's the part of um, the idea that values involves changes. Okay, itong pinag-uusapan natin ngayon in connection with our main topic na kung saan talking about values education, pinaka-center or focus ng ating discussion is the development of the human person, is the transformation of the human person or in general, the existence of the human person in this world. So that will be all for this morning. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you will share this video to your friends and to anybody else that you think na kailangan ng video na ito. Asahan niyo po, that's your job. TV will continue to discuss more meaningful discussions, especially in the world of social sciences. Thank you once again for watching. Bye-bye!